Hi guys, Pat here from Pixina Studio, and today I would like to show you guys how to configure and use DusuPay. Now, DusuPay is a payment gateway that was created in Uganda, Africa. DusuPay accepts most of Africa's payment methods, as well as the European Euro and the US dollar. So today I'm going to show you guys how to configure that on the gig to do script. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to the admin panel. We're going to click on settings and we're going to click on payment settings. Once on the payment settings page, we're going to scroll down to update Dusu Pay settings. So right here. Now, um, this was one of the most complicated um, payment gateways to implement on the geek to do script and that's just because it requires a lot of things so uh in the previous updates we actually didn't create an extra step and people were confused on how to get the provider id so this new bug face file that i just uploaded is going to show you guys uh it's going to have this extra step so i'm going to show you guys the extra step so we had to add an extra step in order to make it easier for people to find items like the provider id all right so in order to configure your do to pay you obviously have to own a Dusu Pay account. And for those who are trying to use Dusu Pay, uh, once you create a Dusu Pay account, that account has to be approved before you're able to get live payments. And um, because of that, we don't have an approved account, but we're going to do this demo with their test accounts, their sandbox accounts. However, I'm going to show you guys how um, their accounts look like. So we um, we actually created an, an account on DusuPay, so I'm gonna um, log into that account real quick. So it's actually my merchant account. So while creating your DusuPay merchant account, you're gonna have an option to, you know, kind of enter the name of your, you know, your project, and you'll be presented with an API uh, key and secret. So, I'll show you guys where you can find that. So I've gone to settings, and all that information is right here. Right here. All right, so let's go back to the admin panel. And so we, we need a do to pay API key as well as the secret. So we're gonna we're gonna use um, use the testing account. So I'm gonna go to uh, do to pay APIs. We're gonna click here. So this takes us to their documentation, and we're gonna head over to testing sandbox. So we're going to use this information here. So I'm going to copy this first and paste here. Um, paste here. Now for for the Dusu Pay webhook hash. Uh, this actually you create you create uh, the the numbers for this. So if you go if we go back to our uh, merchant dashboard on DusuPay, um, so right here where it says webhook hash, we can you can enter in any number you know text, but just make sure you copy that and you paste it right here. So again, you can uh, create numbers or whatever, then just paste it right here. So since we're using the testing account, we're going to use what they created for that. So we're going to paste that here. So by default, uh, you don't fill this in. The system, um, git to do actually fills this spot in for you. All right. So now I'm going to show a really common problem. So. After you've put in your uh, Dusu API key and secret key, uh, you have to hit save because if you go right here and just click on this this item right here, 
by the way, this is the extra step I'm talking about. This is what is going to help you guys get the provider ID. So if you choose this and, um, and if we click on here, we're going to click on there to get the, the country code. So if you click on there, it's going to take us to this link. Give it a second. So if you're from Uganda, your country code is, that's your country code right there. So if you paste that here, and uh, this is for buying, and uh, you choose mobile money, it's gonna give you an error. So it's gonna say, it's gonna give you this error. And that's because right here, we did not save. So this is one issue that a few customers had. So once you enter this, you need to save to continue. So just gonna close that and we're gonna hit save real quick. Perfect. So we're gonna scroll back down to the settings. So, all right, so let's start here. So now, um, once you own DusuPay, once, you once you're trying to integrate DusuPay, you need to configure how you want uh, your customers to purchase. Do you want them to purchase with uh, mobile money, a card, or the, you know, with your bank account? So you configure that right here. You have to also configure how you want the freelancers or the sellers to be able to withdraw their money. Uh, so you choose either the mobile money or the bank. So we're going to start off by configuring how we want our users to pay. So we're gonna click on here, provide that ID. Again, this was the most complicated part, you know, for uh, users. So we created this extra step, uh, you know, to help a user get um, uh, a provider ID because there are different provider IDs. All right, so in order to get the right one, um, you start off by clicking here, you know, to see what, you start off by telling the system, you know, your country, what country you're based at. So now if you're based in Uganda, you know, you copy the country code right here. So you copy that and you paste it right here. Then, you know, you configure if this is for buying or for withdrawing. So this is for buying. And do you want to do you want your customers to pay with mobile money, card or bank? So we're going to choose mobile money and we're going to click view provider IDs. So now this is going to give you your provider ID. So your provider ID is this one right here. So we're going to click that. And right here, we're going to paste it. So it's going to be the same thing for this one too, because we're dealing with Uganda. So it's going to be, it's going to be the same, same for withdrawing. So if you choose um, this, I will click view provider IDs. So we get this. We can either copy this or we copy this. All right. So now I'm just going to paste that here. Then here we're going to put USD. Always put USD there. So do soup sandbox. So we're testing. So once you go live, don't forget to put this on off. So now we're going to go ahead and click on update do pay settings. I'm going to give it a second. Perfect. Perfect. So now we have successfully configured do so pay so now we're gonna go ahead and actually test it out all right so right now i'm logged in as pat and i'm gonna go ahead and purchase uh this proposal right here so i'm gonna click on there so again this just indicates that uh once i purchase this proposal it's gonna be available for instant download all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and click order now So right here, I'm gonna choose this option. This is the option for do to pay. So 
I'm gonna click on that option and I'm gonna click pay with mobile money. So now this section is where we're gonna actually enter uh, our phone number, you know, since you're playing, paying with mobile money. So if you have money, your mobile money account, you can now enter your phone number there, then click pay with mobile money. So once we click pay, we're gonna get this screen here. So it's now gonna send us an email. So I'm just gonna go to my inbox. So once you click uh, pay, you get this screen temporarily and um, the system sends you an email. This is the email right here. So we're gonna click on there. Then we're gonna, if you, so once you get the email, you gotta, you have to complete the uh, purchase by waiting for that email which comes right away then you click on complete order so if uh if this doesn't work you can you know just copy this and paste it on the um you know address bar and it should work after that so we're gonna go ahead and click uh complete order gonna give it a second And as you can see, the payment was processed successfully. And we should also get an email. So if, we, if I go back to the main page, I, you know, I see I have a new email. So if I click on there, yep, this is the receipt I get. So guys, that's how you successfully use uh, DusuPay. If you have any other questions regarding uh, do to pay or if it's not working for you, even after the bug fix, please uh, reach us at info at pixina.com or you can go to our website and open up a chat with us. Thank you for watching.